Y'all, uh, oh my god, as you can tell by the title of this video, I get to interview Ryan Gosling. Ew. Don't ever let me wink again, I'm sick. I can literally feel myself talking so fast just because I am so excited and the story really isn't even that big of a deal, it's just for my own personal usage. Like, I'm gonna show my kids this video. I don't even care how many y'all look at this. I am just... <laughs> the thing is, like, I didn't even know that I liked him. That's what's weird about it. I'm nothing. I posted a picture about this kind of a while ago, but long story short, I do social media and digital marketing for this company, and he was here in Austin, which is where I live, so if you want to find me. Uh, and he was doing a red carpet, so I obviously had to go to the red carpet, like, do my thing, see him, get a couple sound bites, super chill. And I will make sure to add everything from that. I have a few pictures and, like, some random videos. I can't really, like, release the footage because it's the company's stuff. I had this random guy who was like, I'm about to interview Ryan Gosling. I literally need you to get as much content as possible because, like, <laughs> my YouTube followers need it. <laughs> so, once I get to the red carpet, we interview a bunch of other random people. I mean, they're not random. They were in the movie, but to me, like, I didn't really know anyone, and all I really cared about was Ryan, obviously, because I'm going to marry him. And obviously, he's last because he's literally rocking gossiping like duh i was a little bit nervous but it was totally chill like i was keeping my cool being professional finally we see this blacked out suburban and it's him and i do you not he comes out and he has like glasses on and like his lips are just like glowing and he's glowing and he's like levitating just the way he's walking out just like he walks out the car and he just has this like crazy swag and everyone's like, oh, Ryan, oh my God, Ryan, I love you. And I'm just over here with my microphone like, LMAO, Ryan, I just have two questions to ask you. Try to be professional here. Finally, he gets up to me and my heart is actually pounding. I'm about to pass out. I'm sweating profusely everywhere. My entire world is just like in flames. Like it's just, I'm done. I'm a piece of toast. I'm a crumb. Looking at him, I'm a literal crumb. So yeah, and I literally had two questions to ask him. Loki, I was pissed about this because I was getting content for this company, so I couldn't be like, hey, do you want to date me? What are you doing later? Are you single? Do you have any kids? I couldn't talk to him about all these things, which was super frustrating because, like, you know, again, young professional trying to make it in this world, you already know, honey. I had to keep it cool, keep it PG, and I was like, hey, like, what are some of your favorite things about Austin? And he goes, Ugh. Hmm. So I'm sitting here like this is my opportunity to not only get content, but for us to like maybe be friends, hang out, I don't know, text, maybe we send each other bitmojis, dead ass all the things that are going on in my head. As he's like, Ugh, Austin, uh, I don't know, kind of douchey, but I was into it. Obviously, if you've seen any of my other videos, anyone that like is an absolute asshole, I think is super cool. I go, oh my god, you're being so hesitant. Do you hate it? Probably in real life, I wasn't that confident about it, but I did ask him if he hated Austin. And he was like, oh, ha, ha, ha. No, I don't hate Austin. I love Austin. Then he said some like bullshit answer. Then I had my second question. So then I was like, specifically with this crowd, what are you looking forward to with the reactions of your new movie? And y'all, I deadass blacked out. Once I asked that second question, I was done. I didn't have a single thing to ask him. There's nothing else that I could mess up. And he was just talking to me and I was just like, then he levitated away, went inside, I got to watch the movie which was super cool. Then, didn't even know he was married, but literally the next day, I'm just minding my own business, just soaking up all the glory that is Ryan Gosling. I'm at my local grocery store, checking out, I don't know, I was probably buying tampons or something, just super innocent. And I see this magazine, Ryan Gosling, divorce. Y'all, I value marriage, divorce is my biggest fear, both my parents are still married, but I'm not saying it was a sign, but like it like literally might have been a sign, you know what I mean? That's my story. You guys know I suck at editing all these videos, but I will do my best. Oh god, I'm just so excited that I can post this and it's not clickbait, like I literally met him. I think we're friends. Honestly, we're dating. He's having an affair. Call TMZ. Ryan, I'm pretty sure you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel because like who's not? But if you're out there watching, I love you so much and I just want you to know that I get it. I get the connection that we have and I love you. Okay, make sure you guys comment, subscribe, share these videos. All my social media will be linked at the end of this video and I love y'all so much. See you next week. I am disgusting. Who allowed me to do that? I can't even dab. Oh my God. All you have to do is stay a minute, just take your time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you
have to do is wait a second Your hands on mine The clock is ticking, so say It's just, you know, I'm just so happy that I've had these opportunities That a trash girl like me, who literally is nothing Got to interact with Ryan Gosling 